good morning dear students welcome to the english class in this class of video today we are going to discuss a very important lesson from the second year intermediate and this lesson is from the prose as i have already told you in the previous class that we have five lessons from the prose five lessons from the poetry and one lesson from the non detail that is the adventures uh, adventures of thomas sayo and so in this a uh, video we are going to talk about the very first lesson from the prose is of studies of studies was the lesson which was written by the sir francis bacon sir francis bacon was the writer of the lesson of studies and before we get into the class of studies i would like to intimate you all that do not bunk the classes do not become absent from our online classes and try to focus more on our classes and try to submit your homework as early as possible after completion of the class now let get into the class that is of studies and you know before going to the talk about the lesson of studies let us have some discussion on the life history of sir francis bacon see here sir francis bacon was born in london he was born in london and francis bacon was regarded as the father of english essays he was the father of english essays so why do we call him the father of english essays because the style of his writing is completely different from other prose writers and he used to write a very lengthy sentences and if you say that uh, uh, we hardly find polistapo in his writings that means uh, we find a very lengthy sentences so that he was regarded as a father of english uh, essays and this is the first important thing that you should keep in your mind francis bacon was the writer the present uh, writer of uh, present lesson of studies and he was born in london and he was regarded as the father of english essays and i explained you why he was regarded as the father of english essays because he used to write uh, a very lengthy sentences in english so that uh, he was regarded as the father of uh, english essays and now he was the philosopher he was the philosopher besides a statesman and what do you mean by the word philosopher philosopher is a person who seeks knowledge a person who just wanted to get enlightenment is a philosopher so sir francis bacon was a philosopher and he was also a statesman a statesman in the sense a true politician a politician for the sake of nation is a statesman and he is a pioneer of the modern scientific thought sir francis bacon was the pioneer the first person who thinks about uh, uh, scientific thought and now bacon was born in london already we discussed the point he was born in london he was the father of english essays and he was a philosopher and also a statesman and he was a pioneer of modern scientific thought and now see the father of uh, sir francis bacon was uh, sir nicolas actually he was nicolas bacon the father of uh, francis bacon was nicolas bacon and so this is a very brief discussion a brief life story about uh, our writer sir francis bacon and before getting into the topic i would like to ask you a few questions which are related to the lesson the very first question is from this lesson is see how many of you have a habit of reading books do you have a habit of reading books and do you spend time on reading books or do you spend time on uh, uh, watching mobiles or do you uh, uh, spend time or using mobiles so what do you say so in these uh, modern uh, generation most of the people or especially most of the students spend too much time on using mobiles instead of going through the books and that was the defect that we find and here see another one is do you agree that nowadays majority of the people are losing habit of books if so why see this part is being discussed right now so most of the people are 
uh, being separated from the reading books what may be the reasons so what may be the reasons and uh, what is the thing that replaced what is the thing that replaced uh, books so what is the thing that uh, uh, gives more uh, entertainment than the reading books question yourself first and now do you know there are lot of benefits in studies so when you go through these books when you study when you get some sort of knowledge from the books there are many benefits do you know that do you know the benefits that we get from the studies and another important thing is do studies cure illness really if so why so generally when we get to fall into the sickness or when we suffer from any kind of disease so we get medicine and all the medicines are available to cure our physical problems okay but uh, does the studies cure our uh, illness does studies cure our disease we have so let us find let us go through the lesson first uh, and let us find uh, solutions for all these questions and uh, i would like to say uh, first uh, the benefits of uh, the studies in this lesson sir francis bacon included the benefits that means the advantages of studies books uh, our uh, going through the books the first and foremost uh, benefit of going through the books is see here the first advantage is delight so when you go through the books when you go through the books you find some sort of delightness delightness in the sense of happiness for example for example you are in the train you are all and all in the train there was uh, there was no i am sorry there is no companion and how do you spend your time so if you have a book definitely this book will provide you education besides enjoyment and you can spend your time you can spend your leisure time in reading books in your privateness books can give you a good knowledge besides a delightment so this is the first advantage of of uh, studies so studies gives us a delight studies gives us happiness when we are retired when we are all alone so this is the first benefit of the studies according to the francis bacon and second benefit of the studies is that so we can communicate more effectively with the people francis bacon included the second benefit of the studies is that if you study more when you get knowledge from the studies definitely the knowledge which you get from the studies will help you to communicate with the uh, people more effectively than other people and you know already you have studied something you got some knowledge from the books you got some knowledge from the teacher and you got some sort of knowledge from uh, your neighboring students your colo uh, your your friends and this knowledge from where this knowledge from you get from your teachers students and also books will help you to tackle with the people to talk with the people more effectively to communicate with the people more eff effectively and this is the second benefit according to the francis bacon francis bacon mentioned in the lesson of studies the benefits of the studies the very first benefit is that we get some sort of delightness or a happiness when we studies when we read books during your leisure time or during your private time so this is the first point and the very second point is that uh, studies help us to communicate with the people more effectively and this is second point because we may get some sort of knowledge how to tackle with the people how to deal with the people and how to speak with the people uh, when you venture out and this is the second benefit and the third benefit is that uh, it is very useful studies gives us the end sort of energy the sort of strength to deal with our problems in our life so when we read books when we get some sort of knowledge from the studies this knowledge will help us to tackle with the people or to deal our problems in our real lives as we say as many people say that life is not uh, full of happiness life is a mixture of both happiness and sadness and life is full of problems we need to uh, come at, we need to face the problems that we come across in our life so this studies by going through the books by reading the books we may get a knowledge this knowledge help us to deal with our problems in our real life
so these are the benefits the very first benefit is that we get some sort of delightness that is happiness when you go through the books during your leisure time and that is the first point that is the first advantage of study and the second advantage of study is that we can communicate with the people more effectively we can communicate with the people more effectively when we get knowledge from the studies this is the second benefit and third benefit is as i have already mentioned you that life is not always the same so life changes very frequently and we need to face many problems in our life so we may come we may face many problems and we may come across many problems so that to, to deal all the problems to deal with the problems that occur in your life studies help us a lot and these are the benefits of the studies according to the francis bacon sir francis bacon mentioned all these all these uh, advantages of studies books and 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 as a coin as a two sides as you know that every coin has a two side one is advantages and another one is disadvantage here a coin when you observe the coin a coin as a one side tail another to another side head so as it is uh, say studies have advantages and disadvantages and we spoke about all advantages right now and now let us talk about some disadvantages of studies the very first disadvantage is that do you know most of the people most of the students spend too much time on reading books when they spend too much time on reading books they become very idle they become very pa passive so this is a bad tendency this is a very bad uh, uh, thing so we should not spend too much time on reading books when you spend too much time on reading books this reading books too much time will make us very lazy will make us idle will make us very passive and another important thing is that so this is we can be very idle if we spend too much of time on reading books and another thing is that when you spend too much time on reading books if you learn something from the books you are equipped with some knowledge from the books so what do you say some people show off their learning they just wanted to boast themselves that they were the scholars they are the scholars they always boast of uh, boast themselves to other people and this is a bad tendency we should not develop this bad tendency okay so that that was uh, also another disadvantage of uh, uh, studies according to the francis bacon and another thing is that we develop a tendency actually when we get a sort of knowledge from uh, studies these studies will develop us a very bad tendency what was what is the bad tendency that you just always wanted to say something more a uh, proud that you are the one who got uh, more knowledge from the books you always uh, boast to yourself so that that was a bad tendency and this bad tendency will separate us completely from reading book there may be a doubt there may be a danger there may be a problem that uh, this tendency will lead it will deviate you from the education completely so that uh, we should not spend too much time on reading books uh, according to the according to the francis uh, bacon okay and now let us talk about uh, some other uh, some three kinds of people are there how do they think about the uh, studies right okay till now we talk about some advantages of studies and as well as some disadvantages of studies so what are the disadvantages of studies uh, so too much time uh, spending on books may make us lazy and when you study too much so whatever the knowledge that we get from the studies uh, may make us to show off our knowledge to other people and this is a very bad tendency according to the francis uh, bacon and this tendency will definitely leave us or deviate us completely from our uh, education and now francis bacon uh, classified people into three categories francis bacon categorized people into the three categories the very first category is cunning and crafty people cunning and crafty people so we know cunning means very intellectual who always wanted to cheat people so punk is the best example for cunningness right and crafty means very skillful persons talented 
so here the first category of people are very cunning and also very talented people and uh, how do they think about the studies what do they think about the studies here these people are very cunning and creative and also very intellectual so that uh, they avoid uh, practical knowledge in their life here and according to the prince back and this that this bookish knowledge should be guided by guided by the practical experience practical experience is very important in our life besides right education from the books and this bookish knowledge should be guided by the practical experience but here in the case of these people cunning and crafty they avoid using practical knowledge they think that they are very mature person they think that they are very talented so that uh, they avoid using practical knowledge in their real life so this is the first uh, type of people and second type of people are second type of people are very simple people how do they uh, look at the studies how do they treat the studies see here these simple people admire studies very much they love studies very much they wanted to spend too much time on studies they like studies very much because as they are very simple people so that uh, simple people admire studies and another important uh, category of the people is that uh, wise people how do wise people treat studies how do wise people treat studies so wise people uh, treat studies they use studies in their uh, real life so they earn something by using studies in their life so so these are the three categories of people according to the francis bacon here francis bacon mentions three categories of people the very first category of the people is cunning and crafty second type of the people are very uh, ordinary people that is uh, simple people and uh, third category of the people are wise people the first category people uh, avoid uh, practical knowledge in their life as they think that they are uh, really intellectual persons so that was the problem and uh, second type of people are uh, very simple people ordinary people these simple people admire studies very much and last uh, kind of people are wise people so wise people use these studies wise people use the knowledge from the studies in their real life and they achieve something in their life so these are the things that we discussed in the lesson according to the francis bacon what were the advantages and what were the disadvantages and what kind of people are there how many types of people are there how do they treat uh, their studies in their real life and we shall continue this class tomorrow and this is the first part of the lesson and we shall have some other things to be discussed and we shall continue this lesson tomorrow thank you all of you thank you very much